there's kids, this is a family-oriented uh, place, I believe. I wouldn't feel safe. Tonight, the short north community is outraged and concerned after several shootings in their neighborhood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lacey Crisp. Tonight, the question of safety is on some people's minds after an early morning shooting in the short north that left two people injured. Police say the shooting happened near the Union Cafe around 3 a.m. This morning, we learned police arrested 24-year-old Robert Rogers Jr. 10 TV's Richard Solomon joins us now live in the studio. Richard, you've read the court records. What did you learn? Well, Lacey, these court records show that Robert Rogers Jr. admitted to shooting a man and admitted to tossing a handgun. The records also state Rogers claimed the shooting was in self-defense. Court records give us more insight into the shooting that left two people injured in the short north early Sunday morning. Columbus police say 24-year-old Robert Rogers Jr. was arrested and charged with felonious assault and tampering with evidence. Police say around 3 a.m. they got a report of a shooting near the Union Cafe. Police found a man shot in the leg. He was taken to Grant Medical Center. Shortly after, police say a woman walked into Grant with a gunshot wound. After speaking with her, police learned she was also shot on North High Street. Police say both are expected to survive, but people in the short north say this violence is out of hand. I definitely think that it stained this area. This is a place that, you know, my friends and I freaking all the time. My family freaking this place. Records say Rogers was seen running from the scene wearing a red sweatshirt. They say he tossed a handgun over a brick wall before he was arrested. This shooting happened a week after three people were injured in a separate shooting just two blocks away. 10TV reached out to the Short North Alliance after the shooting. Their statement reads in part, We are actively working with the Columbus Police Department to address violence interventions within the district through our Short North Crime Interdiction Program, including providing more police patrols during the evening and late night hours. I feel safe. I mean, I don't, I know anything can happen at any time. It's getting crazy. People need to stay safe, man. Rogers is scheduled to be in court Monday morning.